Google has recently released Google Analytics 4 and at the time of this recording you can no longer simply add a small snippet of code to the preference sections at the back end of your Shopify store. Hey team, Stuart here, I hope everyone is well. Today we're going to jump right into this beginner's tutorial and walk you through exactly how you can set up Google Analytics on your Shopify store. Now this is a relatively straightforward process that will allow you to measure and record both website and visitor behavior on your Shopify store. Okay guys, now before we get stuck in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and install Google Analytics on your Shopify store. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually head over to Google Analytics and sign up. Now, if you haven't already signed up to Google Analytics, all you need to do is head over to analytics.google.com and sign up for free. So we're going to go ahead and do that with a fresh account so we can guide you through the process. So with that said, let's head up to set up for free. And what we need to do first is set up an account. So what we're going to do is come over to account name and add our account name. So for us, we're just going to add our website name or business name. So for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is name this account Real Foods, which is the name of the business we're going to use in today's tutorial. So once you've added your account name in here, then what we want to do is navigate down to the bottom and click next. So we've gone ahead and set up our account. Now within our account, we're going to be asked to set up a property. So you can have multiple accounts and properties. So let's pretend that our account is an international business like Real Foods. And let's say we have three cafes located around the world. So I would create three properties within that account for the different websites in the different countries. However, they're all under the same brand real foods which is the name of the account so again if i had three cafes one in new zealand australia and canada i would have three properties called real foods canada real foods new zealand and real foods australia however for the purpose of this tutorial we just need one account because we want to connect one property which is going to be our shopify store so what we want to do is come down to property name under create a google analytics for property to measure your web and app data so we're going to go ahead and name this property and because we only have one business one website we're going to name this real foods also and then come down to reporting time zone we're going to come down and type in new zealand because that's where we're based and that's where we operate so i'm happy with that then come down to currency and select your currency so again for us we're going to click new zealand so again if you're in the us you would click up here and type in united states but we're going to select new zealand i'm happy with that so once you've selected your reporting time zone and the currency for your website so where your business operates then come down and click next and here you can fill out this basic business information. So we're going to come down to industry category and we're just going to come down to food and drink. Then we're going to come down to small for the size of our business. Then we're going to come down here. How do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? So for us, we want to come down here and click increase my conversions. And then these two up here. So you can select any of these options. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to select any of these if you don't want. You can come down and click other if you're not too sure. Then we want to come down and click create. And then before we go ahead and accept Google Analytics terms of service agreement, we want to select our location. So again, for us, we're going to go New Zealand. And then we're going to come down here and click I also accept. Then come down here and click I accept again. And then finally, I accept. And just like that, we have gone ahead and created an account and property for our online store for our business. Now, we want to come over here and click save. We don't want to worry about any of this. And then Google Analytics 4, the updated version of Google Analytics, will ask us to set up a data stream to start collecting data. So data stream is new to Google Analytics 4. This name wasn't around in previous versions of Google Analytics, but it's essentially the same thing. What we want to do is install a piece of code on our Shopify store so we can start recording analytics, start recording data, behavior on our Shopify store. 
and we do that by creating a data stream. So what we want to do now is navigate over to web because we don't want to record information from a Android app or iOS app. We have a Shopify store. So we're going to select web setup. And then up here, all we need to do is retrieve our website URL and paste that in here. So what we're going to do is head over to our Shopify store and get our website URL. Then here on our Shopify store, all we need to do is navigate up to our Shopify URL and then copy this part here. So our domain. Now we don't want to highlight admin. We just want our domain. So for us, that is realfoods.myshopify.com because this is a free account. We have not connected a real domain as this is just a tutorial. However, for you, you might have a real domain in here. For example, for us, if we purchased a real domain, what we would purchase is realfoods.com. However, this is just a tutorial, so we're going to copy this entire domain here. And then what we're going to do is head back to Google Analytics. And then come down to website URL and paste from your clipboard your URL. So remember, we don't want www. We just want our domain name. Then we want to come over to stream name. Again, we're going to name this our business, so Real Foods. And then just like that, all we need to do is come down to create stream. And this is where it gets slightly confusing for most people. But remember, if we can do it, you can do it. We are not a coder. So this is a beginner's tutorial. You should be able to follow the steps and do this yourself. Now, originally, what we had to do was copy this little ID up here. And originally, we could just copy that and head into our preferences and paste that into the back end of our Shopify store. However, it's not that simple at the moment because of the recent update to Google Analytics 4. Shopify has not updated their back end to allow us to continue using this ID up here. So rather than copying this ID, what we need to do is come down to global site tag, click here. Then what we want to do is click this copy to clipboard icon and what that's going to do is copy this entire code. So make sure you click copy and then now what we want to do is install this piece of code into our website. Now don't let that scare you. It's not as daunting as it sounds. It's actually quite straightforward and you're not going to damage your website and if you do, you're going to have a backup. So with that said, let's go ahead and paste this code into our Shopify store. And once that's completed, your Google Analytics and Shopify will now be connected. So what we're going to do now is head back to our Shopify store. Okay, so the code that we've just copied, what we need to do now is head over to online store. All right, now, like I mentioned earlier, what we want to do is take that piece of code that we copied from Google Analytics, and what we want to do is install that piece of code onto the back end of our Shopify store. And we do that by navigating over to actions and coming down and editing our code. However, before we do that, what we want to do is create a backup of our current website. This is in case we do anything wrong and the website crashes, which is highly unlikely if you follow this process step by step. However, it can happen. So what we want to do is take a backup. So if it does crash, we can simply upload that backup site. So to do that, what we want to do is navigate over to actions and then come down to duplicate. And what will happen, Shopify will take a copy of our current theme and duplicate it. So we can use this later on if our website crashes. So we have the backup here. I'm happy with that. We have security in place if anything goes wrong which it won't if you follow this tutorial step by step. But we have a copy down here, a backup of our theme. So now what we want to do is navigate back up and click on actions and then come down to edit code. Now, don't be afraid. It's very straightforward to inject this piece of code into the back end of Shopify. So what we want to do is actually navigate over to layout and below layout, what we want to do is click theme.liquid. And then you're going to see the theme.liquid code. Now, what we want to do is actually inject this code below the head. So what you can do here is click enter, enter, enter. Do that at least three times. It doesn't really matter. Then what we're actually going to do is head up to line four. So just below head. And then what we're going to do is just simply paste the code that we copied from Google Analytics. So we're going to go ahead and paste this from our clipboard. 
And just like that, you can see that our code from Google Analytics has been inserted into our theme.liquid. And that is all there is to it. Now what we want to do is save this. So come up to save and click save. And as you can see, asset has been saved. So now what we can do is head back to online store. And as you can see, guys, it's as simple as that to install Google Analytics on our Shopify store. Now, what we want to do is navigate over to this eye icon and actually view our live website. And as you can see, this is our live website. So we're just going to scroll through it. What we're doing now is just essentially sending data to Google Analytics to make sure that the connection is correct, to make sure everything is working as it should. So I'm just going to navigate through the website. Remember, this is just a plain basic theme. We haven't made any modifications except for adding this image here. So I can navigate through. I can also head over to catalog and scroll down here. So now what I want to do is head back to Google Analytics and make sure everything is working from Google Analytics. So let's head back to our Google Analytics dashboard. And here we are back on Google Analytics where we left off. This is where we copied this code. Now what I'm going to do is exit out of our web stream and then now all we need to do is navigate over to our home button. And that's going to take us to our Google Analytics dashboard. And as you can see under our account, so if I click on Real Foods, you can see that we have our Real Foods account selected. And within that, we have our properties, which is Real Foods. So that is selected. If we exit out of that one, you can see that we have had one user in the last 30 minutes. And as you can see, that was myself from New Zealand. And just like that, you can now see that you have successfully connected Google Analytics 4 with your Shopify store. And it's as simple as that, guys, to set up and install Google Analytics on your Shopify store. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.